So we are here in Baldwin Park at our newest rental. We just got this place. Work is already underway. Came here to check out the progress, go to Home Depot and pick up some materials. But I really wanted to give everybody a behind the scenes peek of what we're doing to drop some game on anybody that wants to do something similar. It's game time. So the Baldwin Park is uh, the San Gabriel Valley. If anybody remembers from the neighborhood, we are in the 626. Between getting this remodel off the floor and hopefully getting the permits off the ground before I leave to Mount Everest is definitely cutting things very, very close. So we are here at Home Depot in Baldwin Park. We're very fortunate. It's only about a mile away from the rental property. We're picking up some paint. We're picking up some flooring. The ball is rolling. Yeah, we're moving. 100 square feet. Yeah. What's up, boys? Mm -hmm. So we're getting tiles. I like this one. This one's OK. So it's like a rental, right? So if it was my house, then I definitely want to put, you know, 250 a square foot in it, but it really adds up. So it's like, be mindful of these little things because in my opinion, if I was renting a place and it just had brand new clean white tiles like this, I'd be pretty happy. I'm going to go to Casa Ahora. So I can put it inside the house. We're just going to get the paint and one of the bathroom sets of tiles here, and then we'll get the flooring and thin set and everything else somewhere else. We'll go drop everything off. I'm very grateful for Justino, who's helping us make this happen. <laughs> you guys know how I found Justino? Social media. So I met Justino on Instagram. Believe it or not, it really is a social network. He was in the right place at the right time exactly when I needed him. A few days before we closed escrow, I was online scrolling. I got a friend request from a cabinet company. I sent him a DM saying, hey, do you do anything other than cabinets? And he said, absolutely, what do you need? Next thing I know, he was one of the four guys that came out to give me estimates. He was who I gelled with the most, despite the language barrier. He, in fact, has done business with somebody else that I know. Justino is the perfect example of being in the right place at the right time. Ramirez Kitchen Cabinets, this is the guy. So, just a few days ago, there was two massive, massive trees. But the game plan, as you can see, is to cut them down. This will be a parking spot for the second house that we'll build in the back. Pro tip, if you're getting work done on a house, you have to put a lock box. People are always coming to give you estimates. People are always coming to take measurements. You don't have the time to frequently be visiting the property. Put a lock box on the house, give them the code, save yourself a drive. A piece of advice that I would give to anybody looking to get into the rental game is you have to be actively looking for opportunities. If you are a real estate agent or working in the market, it's easy in the sense that we are constantly coming across opportunities. If you are at a listing appointment, if you are talking to a buyer, keep in mind whether there is an opportunity for you to keep for yourself. If you are not in the business, find yourself a good agent that can help you find deals. Give me a call, give somebody a call that you trust that will help you look for opportunities. 99% of this house is all cosmetic damage. This place has so much value and it's only gonna take maybe $25,000 to $30,000 before this place is fully rented. Right about where I'm standing, there will be a fence there will be a second house that we plan to build between 600 and 700 square feet. This home is zoned R1, which means that I am legally allowed to build a second home. It's gonna look just the same as an ADU. An ADU looks just the same as a second house, but on paper, it's going to be valued much more when an appraisal comes and determines how much it's worth. Depending on where you are, construction costs can range from 200 to 300 and like $50 a square foot. So if we build something between 600 and 700 square feet, I think we're gonna fall in between 150 and 175 thousand dollars in construction costs. Before we ever break ground, I think we will spend about $25,000 in soft costs. Things like designs, architects, engineers, anything that you need in order to get to the point where you break ground. Based on the rent that this unit will generate, it'll take us about eight and a half years to make back our money. This is the future. You know, the game plan is not just cash flow. The game plan is appreciation. This is our retirement. This is for the next generation. There is a lot to do and very little time to do it. And we are going to learn a lot during the process. So stay tuned and follow us along as we get through this project. Stay tuned for part two.